Hi, I will try to explain how to use these invisible shaders in VR mode. Uh, so as you can see, we have an empty scene here, and our uh, if you look to our build settings, it's in the PC, Mac, and Linux standalone. So I will just create a sample scene. So I just right click and create a plane here. Let's zoom to our plane. Let's reset its position. Okay, and I will create a cube uh, and reset its position again to just simulate uh, the standard shaders. And uh, I will just create a um, sphere. And reset it again and uh, I will just push it uh, under the plane so we do not see it okay uh, so as you can see here the shadows and everything uh, just works so I will uh, just create our invisible shader so I will just create a material here and let's name it invisible or whatever we want and I will uh, change my planes uh, material with this invisible material okay so and I will uh, change the standard shader to my uh, UNP invisible directional to show uh, directional shadows from the directional lights as you can see, uh, as I change the uh, shader, we see a white uh, shadow, which is the default color uh, of the shadow. So as you can see, you can uh, put your shadow color, whatever you want. So I will just uh, simulate the real shadow as a black. So I just select the... Uh, black color and you can ju just change the uh, intensity of the shadow with the alpha value of the color so I will just make a label transparent shadow here and if as you can see if I move uh, fair uh, under the plane so you can see the uh, transparency and everything just works fine but if you look to the uh, game view let's focus our cam what we see so if you select your main cam and uh, save edit sorry game object align with view uh, what is uh, command shift f on the Mac uh, so as you can see it just focused to our uh, game view to this scene view. so I will just move a little back and press the command shift F again okay so as you can see here uh, shader does not blend uh, with the Unity's default skybox because uh, skybox just uh, disables the uh, Z right so it just our shader does not blend with sky so you cannot use uh, this shader if you want to write a desktop or a VR application. So what will we do here? We will just uh, simulate the skybox with our own shader. So what does what I mean is uh, I will just create a cube here. As you can see, uh, I have just created a cube. Uh, let and let's reset its position. Okay, so it's uh, in the center of the uh, game. So I will just uh, let's rename it our cube skybox or whatever we want, and let's scale it uh, a little bit more. Uh, so if you have a very big game. So you have to make this scale very big, so uh, your this cube will 
uh, get everything inside it. So I will just make this a hundred, so it will be uh, big enough for my C. So as you can see, this uh, cube uh, just gets everything uh, inside of it. it. So it will be our uh, fake skybox. So I will just create a material here. Uh, so let's name it our fake skybox. Okay, and I will just select my cube and I will change this uh, default shader with my fake skybox. Okay, and uh, I will select my UNP skyboxes shader. So as you can see, it's just a uh, mimic of the Unity's default skybox. So it just enables the Z right. So it just blends with my uh, shader. So uh, plane becomes uh, invisible. So let's select the cube map. And as you can see, if you look to our uh, scene view. Everything just works fine. Okay, and I will just focus my camera to see B here. And as you can see, uh, everything just works fine. So you can use these shaders uh, with this uh, fake skybox, and you can create uh, VR and desktop ap applications with this uh, invisible shadow and light receiver uh, so if you run this okay. so as you can see uh, everything just works fine so let's select our clip and rotate it as you can see everything is just real time in the game view too so everything is working as we expected. So you can with, uh, play with the, as I said, uh, color and uh, transparency uh, of the shadows. Uh, so everything goes with the same with the uh, point and spotlight. So if you look to my previous video, uh, you can see how to set up uh, those lights too so I hope uh, it will be very useful for your applications